Hi and welcome to this short video on using Picasa to import uh, photographs. When you put your mini card into your computer, pop it in to the uh, SD slot, this menu will pop up and it'll ask you, do you want to you, you import pictures? Now this is the symbol for Picasa, Google's free photo editing and emailing uh, um, and archiving package. It's a wonderful package free of charge but very powerful nonetheless but instead I'm just going to go straight into Picasa and I'm going to go over onto this import tab so I'm going to click on that now and on my memory card is dozens and dozens of photographs going back through years and photographs with this little red X doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the photograph it's just telling you that the photograph has already been imported so there's no need to import it twice Picasso won't let you import photographs twice so now let's go down to the bottom here I've pre-selected these photographs because the uh, tutorial video I'm shooting doesn't allow me to select uh, more than one photograph when I'm in this mode but you can just hold the shift key and select as many photos as you like and then down here you've got a few options. You can say leave the card alone, delete the copied photos, or delete everything on card. Now you really don't want to delete everything on the card. You can leave the photos in the card, but normally what I do to save space on the card, your memory card, your SD card, or any other media for that matter, as I say, delete only copied photos. So then it's giving you another option here as to where you want to save the pictures. So I usually select my pictures in Picasa and here's the most important thing, give the folder a title. So we're going to say um, shed uh, project uh, monoline limerick. And I'm going to say I can import all or I can import the selected 16. Now I don't want to import all, so I'm just going to tell Picasa to import the 16 pictures. And then it asks me, are you sure you want to remove the imported files? So here we go. We're going to take a chance and remove the imported files. It's going to delete the files that it brings in. So here we go. So now Picasa will start to rip the photographs off the card and create a folder. And it's saying, uh, you can see here how progress is going along. It's going to create a folder called Shed Project Monoline Limerick and it's imported the photographs. So now, there's a few things you can do with your photographs first before you decide to email them or export them. Now, if we look at this photograph here, uh, it's a nice photograph. Uh, it's of a garage with antique uh, uh, devices in it, etc., etc. But here's the important thing. 2.8 megabytes photograph. Each one of those photographs are 2.5, 3 megabytes, etc., etc. Now, you don't want to be e uh, emailing uh, those photographs to your friends or to your work because uh, most uh, email services, free email services, have a limit of about 10 meg. Uh, Gmail, I think the limit is 15 or 20 meg. But you really don't want to be uh, sending those types of photographs to people. But at the same time, you don't want to be sending them files that are so small as to be virtually useless. In other words, files that are maybe 39 or 40 kilobytes, tiny little thumbnail type photographs. So you need a decent sized photo, but one that's not going to uh, slow down the email service. So let's say you want to send all 15 or 16 of those photographs to me. I don't want each one of those to be three megabytes. I'd like them about, say, a thousand kilobytes, 1200 kilobytes, so that I can email them, but still know I can get nice detail if I want to view them on my computer. Now, here's a quick thing uh, that you can do with your photographs. You can crop them, you can auto contrast them, you can auto color them, uh, you can add fill light here. You can see that, how I've pulled that slider bar across here. And, and you get the histogram down here telling you uh, which highlights you've boosted, yeah? So all of those uh, uh, effects you can do, you can do tuning effects, see this fill light here, highlights, there's so many wonderful things you can do with Picasa that it's really amazing, uh, the package is so powerful. And then you can add all these little effects, film grain, uh, so on and so forth, tint, um, uh, you can see here color preservation all these effects you can add to your picture but 
we won't get too too excited with these effects for now you just it's just enough to know that they're there if you have to do anything with them crop the photographs etc so we're going to select these uh, uh, group of photographs that I've just imported and let's say I want to uh, send them to uh, a, a, a friend so I've selected those photographs by holding the shift key and then clicked on each one of them. Now here's the thing uh, you need to remember. So we're, going to, we're just going to email those photographs. Now what I like to do here is I like to use this little thumbnail, this little uh, thumbtack, and you select the photographs. So you're telling Google uh, Picasso that these are the significant photographs and they're kept down here in a little tray. And this is important. Now you can save these to a web album for uploading to the web, but we don't want to do that for now. We can email them or export them. So let's just think about the email function. So I want to email them to a friend or a colleague. But first, before I email them, there's something you need to do. You need to go up here to the tools menu drop down the tools menu, come right down to the bottom and go into options. In options, uh, it'll give you a few options. So we're not interested in web albums for now. We're interested in the email tab. See it here? The email tab. So we want to tell uh, Google Picasso, look, those photographs are 3 megabytes, 2.5 megabytes. We want to crunch them down. Now, I really don't recommend you crunch them too much. Like 320 isn't really enough detail. 480, getting a little bit better. 640 is good. 800 better. But 1,000 pixels, just about right. You can, of course, go to 1,200, but 1,000 is a good size. So you can select this. Uh, uh, these options and this is the important one here because Picasso will now crunch all those pho 16 photographs each one of them it'll crunch them down to this size and the reason we do that folks is it makes it very easy to email and the person on the other side isn't taking your name in vain because they're so upset with you because you've sent them huge photographs which is it takes an age to view so everybody's a winner in this situation you're able to send the photographs quickly uh, and in bulk without having to send each one individually and the customer on the other side gets one email it gets uh, 16 photographs but they're all crunched down to a nice size that they can still view the details so we just select OK so now we're going to say email and it'll throw up this little uh, email address so I'm going to email them to myself okay and it says here 16 pictures so now we've crunched 16 pictures if we take an average of 2.75 meg multiplied by 16 that's 43 megabytes these 16 pictures would be on their own but we've crunched them down now to 2.2 megabytes and I'm going to email them to myself and it says 16 pictures for you you can put in a, a little bit of text if you wish hi here's the project photos I was telling you about okay so uh, and I'm going to just send those now so here's what Google does takes those images all together and now it's emailing them yeah and that is the cool feature of emailing photos so now while it's doing that I'm going to show you this other feature let's say you don't want to email the photographs but you want to select the photographs uh, or you want to pick a, a number of the photographs and export them to a folder a separate folder on your desktop well you select this export button and then you've got you it, it opens up this menu and in the menu it'll tell you you can select any folder or you can create a new folder where you want to put the, those photos and again you get the slide bar where you can select the photos and here's another cool feature you can add a watermark to the few to the picture so you can say uh, sample photos or you can put your own name and what uh, Google will do is it'll watermark each and every photo with your uh, a title whatever title you want on each photo it's a, a copyright protection feature it stops people copying your photos if you wish to stop them from copying them or use them or you can simply put your name on it so that you get the credit for that photograph if it's a beautiful landscape and you don't want people nicking your landscape without your permission you can put your watermark on it and it's a it's a great way to um, uh, to to uh, protect uh, your photographs 
and then you just click export and it'll export there it's going to send it to this folder so we've got C users and it's going to export it to that folder so it also you can have various uh, settings for image quality so we're just going to click export now and here we go so now it's exporting the folder and there we have those photographs exported to that folder and see we've got the little text and it's crunched those photographs down to the right size but also we've got the watermark now in the photograph so that's a, a, a very nice way to export photographs that you want to downsample uh, uh, to, to, to different folders and you can select folders any pictures you can simply add uh, uh, pictures uh, like this and just keep uh, adding them on and export them so you can pick photographs from all over your Picasso and put them into one uh, tray here and pin them together and export them into one separate folder so uh, I don't know how the old email is going so we'll check and see has anything nice arrived in my inbox in my Google account oh here we go surprise surprise and there are the photographs they've arrived in uh, nicely we've sent them all and uh, I'm getting thumbnails there already and you can see there there are 147 kilobytes and let's see what 147 kilobytes looks like it's quite good it fills up the screen I can see all the details and you can see how quick even though I'm on a very slow broadband service here how quickly uh, those photographs open up again as I say not too big uh, and not too small they're they're uh, these ones are coming out at 130 kilobytes you might like to push that up to uh, 1200 on the setting with Picasa let me just show you where that setting is if you'd like to send larger photographs so we've it set at a thousand you might like to bunch it up to 1200 or 1600 I like a thousand it's uh, uh, fast and cheerful you might like to increase it a little if you want to give your uh, recipients a little bit more detail so that's all for now uh, that's all I can explain to you about Picasa again tools menu options set the size of the photograph um, when you're selecting your photographs click and then pin them with this and once you pin them into the tray down here you can export them email them or upload them to the web uh, uh, with your Picasso web account if you want your friends to see so that's about it that's how we uh, uh, handle photographs in Google Picasa and can I also recommend using Gmail when you use Picasa because the whole service is completely streamlined if you do that thanks for watching